Good day. Today, we will discuss on how network cabling is important. Laying cables is the foundation for both creating local area networks, LANs, and connecting LANs into wide area networks, WANs. Network administrators are usually involved only in the planning and laying of LAN cabling since WAN cabling is the responsibility of telecommunications carriers. Network cabling is the medium through which information usually moves from one network device to another. There are several types of cable which are commonly used with LANs. In some cases, a network will utilize only one type of cable. Other networks will use a variety of cable types. The type of cable chosen for a network is related to the network's topology, protocol, and size. Understanding the characteristics of different types of cable and how they relate to other aspects of a network is necessary for the development of a successful network. There are two basic types of cabling used in LAN. First is the copper cabling which consists of insulated copper conductors that transmit signals using electrical voltages and currents. Copper cabling can be either coaxial cabling, such as thinnet or thicknet, that is used mainly in industrial environments, or the more commonly employed twisted pair cabling. Twisted pair cabling comes as either unshielded twisted pair UTP, cabling, commonly used in Ethernet or fast Ethernet environments, or the less common shielded twisted pair STP, cabling. Copper cabling is mainly used for shorter cable runs such as horizontal cable runs between wiring closets and wall plates in work areas, for patch cables, and for equipment interconnects. The second type is the fiber optic cabling which is made of glass strands that transmit signals as light waves or pulses. Fiber optic cabling can be either single mode, which is used for the longest cable runs, or multi-mode which has a much higher carrying capacity. Fiber optic cabling is generally used for backbone cable runs such as vertical rises in buildings and building-to-building -building interconnects on a campus, for high-speed interconnects between networking devices in a wiring closet, and for connections to high-speed servers and workstations. The quality of UTP may vary from telephone-grade wire to extremely high-speed cable. The cable has four pairs of wires inside the jacket. Each pair is twisted with a different number of twists per inch to help eliminate interference from adjacent pairs and other electrical devices. The tighter the twisting, the higher the supported transmission rate and the greater the cost per foot. The AA DIA, Electronic Industry Association, Telecommunication Industry Association, has established standards of UTP and rated six categories of wire. Additional categories are emerging. There are different categories of UTP cable, each has each speed and uses. We will now identify the different tools needed to make network cable. First is the Category 5 Enhanced Cable, CAT5E, is a twisted pair cable for computer networks. Since 2001, the variant commonly in use is the Category 5E specification, CAT5E. Next is RJ45 Connector which is a standardized interface which often connects a computer to a local area network, LAN. This type of connector was originally developed for telephone communications but is now used in a range of applications. The abbreviation, RJ45, stands for Registered Jack 45. Another tool is the crimp tool or crimper is a tool that is used to join or connect two pieces of material by using compression to form a connecting bond. This type of hand tool is set to the desired pressure needed to effectively join two subjects together for a secure seal that allows a connection is made. You could also use a wire stripper which is a small, handheld device used to strip the electrical insulation from electric wires. Lastly, the LAN tester, a device which helps to observe the connectivity and strength of a particular type of cable or other wired assemblies. A LAN tester can determine IP addresses, identify the connected port, link connectivity and polarity. I will now demonstrate the different steps on how to make an Ethernet cable. Step 1. Cut the cable to the length needed. Step 2. Strip back the cable jacket approximately 1 inch. Use the cutter provided with the crimping tool or strip by hand. Be careful not to nick the individual wires. Step 3. Untwist each of the four pairs and straighten each wire as much as possible between the fingers. Step 4. Use the color coding wiring scheme on both ends for a standard patch cable. You could use the 568A or 568B color coding scheme. Step 5. Bring all of the wires together as closely as possible. Hold the grouped, and sorted, wires together tightly between the thumb, and the forefinger. Cut all of the wires at a perfect 90 degree angle from the cable, half inch from the end of the cable jacket. Use a sharp cutting tool so as not to squash the wire ends. Step 6. 
With the connector pins facing up, carefully insert the wires into the connector. Apply a moderate amount of force in order to properly seat the wires against the contacts in the connector. Step 7. Observe the tip of the connector to confirm that all the wires are fully inserted. The end of each wire you should be in full view. There should be enough of the cable jacket inside the connector to crimp against. Step 8. Place the connector into the crimp tool, and squeeze hard so that the handle reaches its full swing. Step 9. Repeat the process on the other end using the desired wiring scheme. Last and final step. Always use a cable tester to check for continuity, opens and shorts. That's it. Hope you have learned something from my video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, like and leave a positive comment and share my channel, Unlocking Possibilities. Thank you and God bless.